It's the summer of 2024. Everything's expensive. Nothing makes sense anymore. So I moved into a rooftop tent, and this is a weekend of me driving around exploring what the Northwest has to offer. So my apartment is a mess, but I just moved in a month ago and now I'm moving out. I'm gonna take everything in this corner into the car. This is gonna go to the rental property. That's gonna go to the rental property. Tacoma isn't too safe of an area, so trying to sleep out here in a tent on top of my truck has not been the easiest, uh, to say the least. One of my favorite stops is my local taqueria. I usually get a delicious torta for like 11 bucks and I use their Wi-Fi. So it is a really hot day out. <sighs> it's 90 degrees. I just finished eating. And um, I was looking at the map. I try to find where it's you know a little cooler. Yeah, real quick, we ended up being in some dense forests. So we'll see how this turns out. Wow, these things are way bigger up close. Oh yeah, I think I watched a YouTube video about this place. It's uh, a nuclear project that was abandoned, but all that's left is the uh, the facility, but we never actually started it up. I mean, it's crazy to think that the city or whatever municipality is in charge of this would just let it go to waste. There's people who still work here. I see some cars. The operations center. Yeah, but what do they do? Like, if these aren't running, what do these people do? What are their actual jobs? I would love to climb those stairs and get to the top. I don't feel like going to jail today, though. Hypothetically, I'm going to hop that fence. But what you're about to see is a movie set. Dude, this thing is massive. This is trippy, dude. Yeah, pretty nuts. I've never been inside a building or some type of structure this open and this large. Hello from an abandoned nuclear reactor. I wanna look at these windows. It's all just empty, um, like office building. So benefit to being in Washington is that there are a ton of casinos everywhere because of the... Okay, as I was saying, there are a ton of casinos because there's a lot of Native American reservations around here in Washington state. So they actually allow you to have free RV camping sometimes at, outside the back of the parking lot. Um, they got restaurants in there. So you have to go inside and pay for RV parking. I went and checked it out over there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm winning something. I just kinda come in here and just find what game looks interesting and go for it, dude. This poor guy's having bad diesel trouble. I heard his truck last night. And he's... They don't sound good. Yeah, especially sleeping in here. Side of the road. I sleep strapped. <laughs> so I'll usually stop at Starbucks. They got Wi-Fi. We can do some work. Decent bathrooms now that they have locks on them. Then I get some coffee first thing. Ooh. It's just a black veranda. Remember the blonde rose, dude. Easiest caffeine ever. East, I might just pick up a fishing pole and go learn to fish. One thing I love about Washington too is the scenery changes so fast. Watching a little bit of YouTube with some dinner. I have no food, so I'm eating ramen with an egg. And then I got some dishes to do afterwards. Tent is all set up, windows open, because it's like 95 degrees right now. It may not seem like it, but it's pretty toasty out here. Gotta love that train.
you know, it is kind of peaceful. Just be out here. Simple. I guess I could have a dog, make it a little bit more fun, more lively. But I don't want to start adding things to the mix. Maybe later. So, you ready to go to sleep? So, I'm gonna grill up some carne asada. Got the beautiful lake view. I found the one level spot here on top of all these rocks. Nobody else around me. Everybody is kind of around the water. Got my tent ready. Pull the cooler out. I never got to show you guys what's inside my tent. Yeah, man, I feel like a new man after just jumping in the lake for five minutes, dunking my head off. Oh. I feel like I just had the most refreshing shower in my life. That water stream in the Cascades, man. Random carne asada from uh, Eastern Washington. We're gonna give their carne asada a go, man. I mean, it's a pretty marinated one again, but it already smells amazing. Oh, I love the smell of carne asada, man. It's just that the beautiful moments like this, it's not every day, man. I wish it was every day. I think everybody would be living in a band if you could just be out at the beautiful lake every day when it's sunny and you never have any anything that's challenging. But like most of this is just challenges, inconvenience, but that's the price you pay for no rent. So it's more of just a trade, but um, hopefully in around September or October, I'll be looking at getting a place locally if I don't end up moving. So uh, we'll see.